Hey, you gotta see what I found here. We've got ourselves a live intestinal blood-sucking creature here. This popped out of a mongoose, threw up, and look what came out with the vomit. Let's take a look at this thing because it's pretty weird to see. Look at this creature that is like a snake. Okay. Look at it. Doesn't have any eyes. Whoa! Is it? Is it active? Look, snake in the grass. Okay. Look at this thing. This is an intestinal <laughs> snake. These are the things. Look at it. I can't even grab it. These are the things that that are crawling around. Look at how fast. Now it's gone. It's got to be here somewhere. But these are the things that live in your gut wall. And look how elusive they are. I just had it here a second ago. And this is why they're in your intestinal tract. They hide and they run up and down 30 feet of intestines. Now how could that guy be missing? Let's see. That is ridiculous. How that thing is now gone. Well, you know what? At least you got a chance to see it. It had a mouth on it with little teeth. You could see like a little white, like lychee mouth. This came out of the mongoose, out of its vomit. Now, this creature, a mongoose, is a creature that is a flesh eater. It's not like a squirrel. And this just goes to show you, I'm just keeping an eye out for this guy in case he surfaces. This goes to show you one thing. See, if you eat flesh that actually has and harbors these creatures, these creatures are very genius and they're not slow. Did you see how fast that thing is? Could you imagine these things in your stomach like that? Could you imagine how they move so quickly out of the intestinal wall? Wow! I mean, that's the, the first time I got a chance to get firsthand this creature that came out of the intestinal wall like that and was just a snake. I mean, active as, oh, I thought I saw him. Active as active. Now, this is what terrain modification is about. This is the reason being why you don't kill anything. See, if you eat flesh, then what happens is that you get the creatures that live within flesh. So if you can actually understand that concept, and the concept is very easy. See, our bodies are just, they're just really uh, vehicles for whatever creatures can live within this machine. Now, I've done years and years and years of work with people with parasites, with heavy metal problems, with with dehydration problems. See, when you add up all these little problems, these are the creatures that find a way inside your body and they can make a life in here. So everything is a tune and you could see how that thing was really fast. That was an intestinal parasite. How could it be so quick? So a lot of times now, I want you to think about this. Are you hungry? As you can see, <clears throat> that thing gets hungry. The fish tapeworm, as it goes through the stomach wall, I'm not sure what kind that was, but it can swim up the intestinal tract. And a lot of times when you feel hungry, it's not you, it's what lives within you is hungry. So, you know, we look at the ocean over there, okay? And we can see how the ocean is a harboring vehicle for all creatures that can live within that pH. And the pH of the ocean is about 7.3 to 7.46, just like our blood. So we are salt water, and there's not too many parasites that live in that ocean if it's healthy at that pH. Now, if our pH and our body and our liquids and, and, and our, our, our whole energetic level becomes weak or diseased or clogged, these are the creatures that find their way into the body. So you can see, it's really easy. Uh, 
Terrain modifying your foods are very essential because what lives in your uh, body only lives by what energy you've become. So let's say, just for one part here, let's say you've accumulated and you don't eat any meat at all because people say, well, I don't eat meat so I don't have to worry about those things. Well, think again. Now, parasites don't really care if you eat meat or not, and it's very, very, very complex on how this works. You must read the book Parasite Rex so you can actually get a little idea on how genius these machines are. Did you see how small that thing is and how fast it was? Most people, okay, have a handful of worms like this, exactly the worms that you would see in the ground called round worms. And these worms, okay, a handful this big, that's why you don't kill anything. You change what foods that you have that actually need to be processed in the body. If you eat dead food, then you need critters that will actually process this food. Just to remind yourself that, okay? Now, um, you can see the wind here is, is beautiful. We have flow. Okay, we live in the middle of the ocean here. We have flow. This is the cleanest place I've ever lived in my life. The air here is not even real. It's electronic. Okay? People still living here get parasites. I see them walking around the stores. Remember, everybody's got parasites, so there's not a person that you know that doesn't have them. The, um, the problem is, is what complexity or what level of creatures live in you and how many of these creatures live within you. It's like sort of like do you live in the suburbs and you live in maybe a hundred thousand population or do you live in Los Angeles and on this side of the fence you're maybe in seven to ten million people. You can see how uh, you know life is just a terrain and once you learn these concepts, all you're gonna do is start taking one little piece at a time. You're gonna change your liquids, okay? And you're gonna increase your liquids. Number one, number one. Remember, disease of the planet is dehydration. So all you have to do is, even if you don't wanna do anything, is drink more liquids. Is that simple? See, the more liquids that you drink, especially if they're good liquids, you can see that your mouth to your anus is 40 feet long, and that is where these creatures live. They don't live in the colon, just so you know. A lot of people get colonoscopies, and they, that's a scope that actually uh, goes up uh, into the rectum and can view into, you know, 30, 30 inches into the intestinal wall, <clears throat> into the colon. That's the sewage trap. These creatures don't live there. They live above that. They live in the small intestine. So, if you know that from here to right there, all the way to about here is your intestinal tract, mouth to anus. And right here is the mouth, and as I walk all the way to here, to the small intestine, to the large intestine called the ileocecal valve, right here to all the way back to the mouth is where these creatures live, okay? They don't live in the sewage trap. So that's why a lot of people say, I don't have parasites. They don't live in the areas that you're checking. And they're actually alive, and if they do go in those areas, it's because they've died and they're going into the sewage trap and they're going out the system, okay? So this one here was very fortunate uh, to come out. Boy, was it scared. I wanted to get back inside the gut wall and find a nice warm place and actually maybe suckle some more blood because it was hungry. You could see, whoo, that thing was a snake tiny creature, remember, that can cause so much damage. You got to remember also, that little creature also defecates. And if you don't know what that means, it just means goes to the bathroom. Now, if that's the case, well, where does it go? It goes in the body. And then you have to, or we have to figure out how to process this serpent, because it's definitely a serpent, as you saw. This serpent's Mm, it's feces, it's urine. So that's the problem, the toxicity. It's not so much the little blood they're taking or such and such, but it's the infestation of, of microbial complexities, of different types of toxins that come out, weird toxins. Could you imagine taking some of your poop and eating it? 
Well, that's what happens when we have these parasites living inside us. So let's be smart. Parasites live in dirty water, so put in clean water. They don't like high pH, so drink higher pH things. No colas, they're pH of two. No wines if you can, pH of two. You can manipulate your alcohols, you can do all these things and change them. Remember, it's terrain modifying. You don't have to stop doing anything, you just have to sort of see what creatures live in the level of area that you don't want to go. It's like a closet that you don't want to open up or go in because there might be some things that may want to come out of the closet into your closet. So once you sort of change your tune of fuels and foods, you find out that the parasites don't eat the stuff. And it takes about six months for you to terrain modify your gut wall bacteria actually even to like it. Because if you're eating genetically modified hybridized foods or chemical foods, well, that means that your gut wall bacteria is perverted. And if that's the case, you have to slowly change their ways. Slowly changing their ways. And that just means that you're gonna take a little bit at a time, just like they did to you and I, and you're gonna, I lost 40 pounds of creatures living within me. 40 pounds, okay? I did. Okay, now, 40 pounds of creatures. Why? Because I've lost 40 pounds of baggage. I don't have to eat that much, but I did eat a lot before, and I don't miss a thing because I only eat the things I like, and what I like is this food band. So everybody's in a food band, and once you find out that the food band that you're in is, is harboring a lot of these creatures, because it's actually fake food, it's artificial food, it's not real food, it's got insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, plastic, all that stuff, it's dead, it's not real. Your body's a live machine, it can't process dead material. So get out of that layer and go up to the next layer. You start changing your ways though, a little bit at a time. You can't go from 100% cooked food to 100% live food. And we're not talking raw, we're just talking live. So this is a simple terrain modification as you can see, as that snake, of course, is a lot of people's demise. And there's a variety of tapeworms. Read the book Parasite Rex. And the first thing you'll want to do, first thing, you're going to say, how do I get rid of these creatures that live within me? Well, remember, they live within you, so don't get all weird. Stephen King, remember, the one that makes the thrillers. This is the best thriller that you could ever, ever, ever want to go ahead and maybe want to watch on television. But this one's right inside yourself. These creatures live within. They're called the monsters that live within. Watch that uh, series that you see on television. It's very interesting to see the series, The Monsters Inside Me. Now, I'm not here to scare you, but I'm here to actually share with you. If you eat these levels of foods, these levels of foods have a certain type of vibration to them. And if you eat those, then what happens is real simple. You have to have creatures that process those foods at those levels. So let's get a little smarter, all of us, and understand that these creatures aren't here to do anything wrong. All they do is basically help us. They process the foods that we can't eat. So if we eat foods that actually we can process, they just leave. Does that make sense? It makes sense. If you eat foods that actually they need to process, then you're just calling these creatures to come on in. Come within me and help me process this type of garbage, because that's what it is. They're garbage eaters, remember? Parasites. Um, let's walk back this way, and we'll, the wind's really blowing here beautifully. Ah. Now, our idea here is really simple. Once you understand terrain modification, the first thing you're going to want to do is start. Yes, you will. And how do you start? Well, that's what all these videos are about. Problems, reactions, and simple solutions. It's very easy to see the problems and reactions, but how do I get simple solutions? Simple. Okay, that's enough for this little parasite segment, and boy, were we lucky to see a creature of the deep. And remember, that's a tiny creature. Tiny, but look at the damage that thing could do. Suckling 
sometimes two to five to ten times its weight in a day with blood? I don't know about you, but you know, this is the best secret that's on this planet at this time are the creatures that live within us. The best secret. And the best secret is that the creatures that live within us don't want us to know. They're parasites. Remember that, that concept. If you don't want to see what we're showing you, it's only because possibly what lives within you is manipulating your emotions and manipulating your thoughts to say, get out of there. Because if you see sometimes what you really don't want to see, they don't want you to see, but if you see it, then maybe that they've got a problem. See, parasites are very elusive, as you can see. Whoa, that thing was fast. Gone. Gone in 60 seconds, and that's about what it was. I just wish we had more time to play with it. Anyways, we'll go ahead and give you very simple segments, radio shows. The radio shows are just for you to grab other pieces of the pie so you can get another idea of what's going on. And the videos are really to show you different types of food supplies, liquids, different ideas from exercise, and you gotta exercise. You have to exercise, just so you know. If you wanna rebuild yourself, you need the right minerals. I had to rebuild myself from my injury. You need the right liquids. You need sunlight, okay? You need what the grass needs to grow. Sunlight, 15 minerals, and a little water. We need the same thing, but just a little more. So remember, liquids are keeping you healthy, and if you eat foods, that's what you get. No little snakes. Food, I'm talking about dead food. There's nothing wrong with eating cooked food. I'm not saying not to. I'm talking fake food, dead food. That's, that's a combination of chemicals, synthetics, hormones, antibiotics, and things that really this machine can't process. As you can see, go to one of the major supermarkets and look at the people there, look at the herd. You'll see that whatever we're doing collectively is not the smartest thing. So getting back to naturalism just makes you so you can start to live with vitality, and we're good. Okay, we'll see you next time. Dr. Robert Kassar, Big Island of Hawaii, parasite, tapeworm, snake in the grass. Important reminder, all information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do recommend the use of mineral deficient foods, drugs, or medicines to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein.